sex is really just about sex. What's it about for you? They're here. Desire. Feeling desired. Freedom. I haven't felt that way since... Brad, the person who gives you security can't be the same person who gives you the thrill. Billy never even mentioned you. Maybe there's a reason for that. Unless... Unless... Unless you think there's a world in which Brad could give you both. Where's my baby? I love my husband. Yeah. I can't imagine my life without him. I'm just not sure that this is who I'm supposed to be. I'm questioning everything. Everybody wonders what if. The sex sucks. The romance quotient is non-existent. I've been thinking about him. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. There was a time in my life when I felt free. I want to show you something. I keep my eyes wide. And then one day, I've become this whole other person. I can't help wondering, where did that other girl go? I keep the end. But I can get that feeling again. Every time I close my eyes and go back to one of those nights, I feel it. It's real. And it was a whole other me. Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with Sarah Shahi, Mike Vogel, and we are talking their show, Sex Life. So, Sarah, I wanted to tell you that, like I've been telling everybody else, your performance in this, brave, bold, and bootyful. Oh! <laughs> I will take that. Thank you so much, Rick. So I have to imagine you must have really loved playing the character of Billy because like she is like a fully written, developed character. Yes, she really is. And, you know, I can only thank Stacy for that. Um, but I did. I have I would love to play Billy for many years to come. I have such a soft place in my heart for her. And, you know, I can relate to a lot of the things in which she's going through psychologically. So it, it it's a. I don't know. I, I felt a real sense of responsibility to women audiences. I don't know, all over the world to sort of, you know, bring Billy to life in the most dynamic, truthful way I could think of. Billy asked this question in the show. She says, my husband has 85% of everything that I want. It's yeah. that 15%. And to me, that's, that encapsulates the whole show. Are you going to work for that 15% or are you going to, are you going to go after the past and, 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 and this gorgeous Adam Demos son of a bitch, uh, <laughs> you know, that comes into the picture. And, and that's, that's the question. If we've done our job, you'll have 50% of the audience going, what are you doing? You have your husband fight for that. And then the other 50% saying, no, honey, go with the hot Aussie, lose the dead weight. So we'll see. Are you ready? This show, I imagine when it drops in a few weeks, it's going to be trending number one on Netflix. <laughs> We'll see. I mean, your mouth to God's ears. Uh, I am I, I, honestly, I'm I'm excited for it because it, being a father of two daughters, telling a show through the lens of the female gaze, uh, all of which I am wholly unqualified to speak to. Um, I think it's important and timely that we do something like that to to address so many of the issues that come up over over the course of a long relationship through the female gaze so so how was this kind of like getting yourself prepared for like some of these scenes you know like i don't know if you're already like a person that's like comfortable in your own skin well i didn't really i haven't really had a whole lot of experience in doing you know sex scenes in particular you know it's like the majority of my career has been in procedurals um, you know, person of interest sitting on a hill, uh, life, you know, so it's like, I, this is all kind of new territory for me, but, you know, I will say, Rick, there was a lot of praying. <laughs> I became <laughs> a woman on this show, you know, please God, please let me hit my mark and do a good job. You know? So, you know, it was, um, it was a challenge, the amount of nude scenes, sex scenes, and then the emotional scenes in which I just really felt like, Again, it was like, I felt like I needed to honor this character and she was so complex. I just really wanted to bring that complexity to life in a very grounded way. Quite honestly, she is the full on champion of what she had to juggle in this show from making, making the distinction between her past and the wildness of that 
to modern day present time with her husband and her past boyfriend coming back into the picture. Um, she was born to play this role and I can't think of anyone who could have done it better. Uh, and to be a, um, to be a, um, sort of a, a, a voyeur on the outside, just watching that happen was an honor for me uh, in watching her step into this role that she was, she was meant to play. But yeah, I think day two of filming, we jumped into the deep end of a sex scene right away. And there's, I mean, <laughs> there's no, there's no dipping your toe in the water. It's just, uh, yeah, here we are. Let's, let's go for it. By the end, of, I think by the end of the season, they'd be throwing our clothes at us. Okay, guys, you got to get your clothes back on. No, 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 we're good. We're going to go again. You know, you get so, you get so complacent with it. Uh, so it was fun. Man, that's Stacey Ruckhauser. I think she's a witch at times, you know, along with, you know, Miles and everybody else at Netflix. They did such a great job of casting the show. And I think everyone inhabits their characters so seamlessly, you know, that even now, if I sit there and I watch the show, I get completely lost in the storylines and I forget who it is that I'm watching. So, you know, kudos to them for casting it as well as they did. The show is Sex Life. You can catch it on Netflix June 25th. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong and you've been watching Hollywood First Look. I walk the line. Who are you? Miss it. That part of me I thought was over, but now it's screaming from inside. And you thought that I wouldn't love you because of it. You were playing with fire. I think you're enjoying this way too much. Put down the Brad matches now. I never had the wild experiences you did. I want to have them with you. I've been trying not to think of you for eight years. Tell me you never think about me. Because you're mine. What are you gonna do? I don't know.